Today we're going to be removing the turbo actuator on a 2007 to 2009 Sprinter. First we're going to start off with removing the air box. We'll start with removing the MAP sensor, the MAP sensor, as well as removing, you just press in on there and slide it up. We'll also remove this clamp on the intake. Now that this is undone, these are undone, this is removed. You should be able to just lift up and then slide forward these two around these in the engine bay. This is the actuator itself here. To gain access, we're going to remove this intake tube, which we'll do by removing this clamp with a flathead screwdriver. And then this recirculation hose should pop out from the main hose like that. Good thing to also inspect while you're down here is this inlet adapter. Inspect this for tears, leaks, etc. Alright, this appears to be as good of access as we're going to be able to get. We'll see if we can unplug this. Alright, so it looks like to gain access to this, we're going to have to remove this heat shield, potentially. We'll see what else needs to be removed to pop this guy off. While we have this all off, we'll also inspect the turbo for shaft play. As you can tell, there's none with this turbo. Alright, the thing I think we're going to do is remove the heat shield. For that, we're going to be using our 8mm 12 point. This ends up working on all these reverse torques that we'll uh, be removing to access this. three of these. Alright, trying to remove it, but it appears something else down here. Uh, I think I found another bracket. So there's another hidden one back here. We'll see how we end up removing that. Oh. <laughs> The next step, I believe, is going to be to remove uh, two 10 millimeter bolts on the back of it right here. It's hard to see. They're about middle of the way and back. I got one of them off here. As you can tell, they're not the easiest to access. Alright, there's a third. Apparently maybe even a fourth? No, just a third. Which still is not giving me any anything. Any play in it? No. It appears that there's a fourth one underneath the actuator right here. Very hard to get. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it actually. Next we're going to have to remove this little clip. As you can see having a mirror like this comes in handy. I'll end up having to pull it off on the side there with the hook uh, on the left here. Alright, after you lose the C-clip, um, make sure that you can find one from an auto store. But we should be able to just pop the actuator off. Alright, now with the actuator rod removed, you can see that we can gain access to the last 10 mil bolt. Alright, we can remove the last bolt now. Let's see if we can get that in focus. Alright, the actuator should be removed now, I believe. Alright, the actuator's out. Now with the actuator out, make sure that with the actuator rod, that it travels freely up and down without any resistance. Um, I'm also probably going to apply a little bit of lubricant on the bottom and the top, some high temp, anything of your choice. Earlier, you'll remember me saying there's four bolts to remove. You can see the one that's threaded there in the middle on the right. You only need to remove those outer three. So just make sure you put that bolt in there back, as you can see that I did now. All right, next we're gonna take this actuator apart. Uh, it's got six clips. If you'll notice, one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm just gonna simply take these off with a flathead screwdriver. Also important to note, just in case you ever do get a replacement, make sure that that matches, so it matches with the programming of your Mercedes. All 
Alright, I believe this should just come apart now. I take it apart slowly. And there's the insides. Let's see if anything we can find from this. Alright, now that we have the actuator removed, I'm able to find out that I have a little bit of play in this worm gear. So it turns out that it's a worm a worn worm gear. <laughs> uh, so that's causing some differences in this uh, apparently and this is uh, what I'm told is wrong now. So we are going to be getting a worm gear rebuild kit uh, and if I can't figure that out, a replacement electronic actuator.